Hey guys, Kevin Bennett here. Now, we just finished um, recording my campaign promo and also we're doing some photo shoots and, and I just wanted to say it was an amazing time and I'm really happy. And I just want to say thank you to Oliver Morris. I want to say thank you to Angel Sinclair, Simi. And also, I mean, Adrian Pinney's been amazing. We're down at his studio and we've had an amazing time. He's looked after us. So it's just been a great day today. And I, I just felt like, let's just share that blessings. Let's do something, okay? So now, on the 15th of November, I'll be doing a workshop to help people in 2016 become the best that they can be, okay? Now, how much can I give to you right now? We've got like two, three minutes. So I'm going to try and give you something to either change the way you think, change the way you feel, or even get you to just look at yourself from, a, from, a, from another angle, from another perspective, okay? Now, how do you move forward in your life? How do you grow? How do you become the best that you can be? The number one way that I say people grow is to first identify four things. Number one, how have you been feeling? If you haven't been feeling good, then how do you move forward regardless what you achieve? You can have the new house, you can have a new car, you can have all of these things, but if you don't have that feeling, all those things mean nothing. So first of all, foremost, identify how do I feel? The second thing is to identify within that is why? Why do I feel that way? Is it because of my family? Is it because of my lifestyle? Is it because of school I went? Is it because I, the, the places where I live? Is it my job? You have to identify what it is in order to make change. The third one is how would I like to feel? What's my ideal feeling? What's, what's the feeling that that, that's going to make me happy? What's the feeling? How do I want to feel in general? What's my passion? What's my desire? In order for you to move forward, you need to have a clear-cut understanding. Just like a sat-nav, you need to know your journey. How would I like to feel? And then put right next to it, why? Why do I want to feel that way? Do I want to feel that way because it's going to make me a happier person for my family? Do I want to feel that way because it's going to help me within my legacy? Why is it that I want to feel the way that I want to feel? And the fourth thing is, what do I do now? Once you identify the first four, what do I do now? And that's your action steps. That's the steps to make you really, really move forward. Okay? Now, once you've identified that, then you can go on to the next stage. The next stage is what I call the life board. These nine different sections right here is the nine sections that defines your life within happiness, growth, lifestyle, finances, family, legacy. I mean, it covers everything, okay? So this is what we're going to be going over on the 15th of November. The first one is feelings, what we just spoke about. Okay, once you identify your feelings, everything else starts to fall in place. Yeah, then we go on to lifestyle. Now, the lifestyle is equivalent to a lot of people's vision boards, so this is much more than a vision board. This covers your whole life. So, this part is pretty much like what some people call a vision board your lifestyle. So, what kind of cars do you want? You put pictures up there. What kind of house do you want? What kind of uh, Routine do you want in that sense? You want to be at, in the gym every day? Would you like to go on holiday six times a year? What kind of places would you like to go? Skiing? Would you like to be in, uh, on the beach? What lifestyle do you want? So it's good to identify that so you know straight away, this is my focus and this is my direction and I will not waver, okay? The next one is your core values. Now, core values is a thing where, so subconsciously when we were younger, our parents, were, our parents told us, um, don't talk to strangers. So that was a subconscious core value. But what is your core value that you stand by right now that identifies your lifestyle, that identifies the people you meet, that identifies, it's your rituals. What, what core values do you have on a daily basis? Okay? The next one is spirituality and education. Now, if you're educated in the fields of your, your, your world, your passion, your desire, and you know sense of self, you move forward, you grow. The next one is your legacy. How do you want people to look at you, talk about you, read about you, write about you 100 years from now? Next one is your toolbox. The toolbox we're going to have to discuss at the workshop because it's such a wide area. But I mean, it's, it's the most integral part, to be honest with you. 
um, going on to it is business. You have to have a certain kind of business in order to have a certain kind of lifestyle. Okay? The other one is legacy. Uh, sorry, the other one is um, your investments. Now, your investments is something like freedom. Look at your investments in the world of freedom. The more you invest and the more successful your investments are, the better your lifestyle. And the final one that we've got here, and we'll be going through so much more on the 15th. I mean, it's going to be five hours of non-stop hitting. We're going to go through so many different things from spirituality to education to deal with your feelings in order to achieve as well um, products, business, and so on and so forth. So the final one is your mastermind group. In order to have, you need to be around a certain type of people. Okay? So... I hope this helps if you're not here with us on the 15th. There's going to be a limited amount of spaces. I'm only doing 50 seats. The reason why I'm doing 50 seats is because, I mean, if I really want people to get the most out of me, it has to be more of a, a smaller, intimate environment. Normally, we'll be doing 500 people, 700 people, 800 people. We're not going to go for that. We're going to go for a small amount of people, and I'm going to make sure that they, they, they leave with results. Okay, so on the 15th of November, join me. We're going to make it happen. And I mean, congratulations to everyone who's making it 2016. And I wish you well. Thank you very much. Bye.